Found this one while cruising Pinterest for some Easter ideas. Cadbury Cream Egg Brownie Bombs. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo Bags 12. Hello everyone. The first thing you're going to need is a brownie recipe. Now you can use a from scratch recipe or you can use like I'm doing in this case a brownie mix. I had a couple in the cupboard that I wanted to use up and I prepared them according to package directions. And I made enough to make a brownie that was a nine by 13 inch size. You don't have to make this big, you can make it whatever size you want depending on how many brownie bombs you wanna end up with. Now what I think is a good idea is to line your pan with some parchment paper and grease it with some cooking spray or butter and then bake your brownies. And once they're cool, it's very easy to remove them from the pan for cutting. So bake your brownies, let them cool completely. And then what I suggest you do is you cut the crusts off because the crusts have a tendency to be a little bit hard and may be difficult for the next part of the recipe. So I cut them off and save them for snacking for later. Then you're gonna cut your brownies into small squares, approximately one inch by one inch or so. And a typical large size brownie, you may probably will end up with about two to two and a half dozen little brownie bombs. Now these are what I use. These are the Cadbury cream eggs, the miniature ones. So what you do is take one of those brownie squares, flatten it between your fingers, place the little egg in the middle of it, and then wrap the brownie around it. And then just gently squeeze and mold the brownie piece around the chocolate egg until it's as smooth as you can get it and you get an egg shape. I also tried these with the Cadbury caramel eggs as well as the cream eggs. Then once you're done, pop these in the freezer for about 10, 15 minutes just to chill them. And if you're wondering that very large one, I actually did a full size Cadbury cream egg instead of the mini ones, just for fun. So let them chill a little bit and then you're gonna melt some white chocolate or white candy melts. Then just drop your eggs in there and I found that using a spoon and a fork work well for this. Coat it, and then you're gonna let some of that excess drip off. And I just find that transferring it from utensil to utensil helps get rid of the excess. And then place it on a piece of waxed paper. And then while that coating is still not solid, sprinkle on some Easter colored sprinkles. Pop them in the refrigerator to harden completely and you are done. Now the bottom of these will have a little kind of bald spot where you might see the brownie showing through. If this bothers you, all you have to do is turn it over and add some more of the white coating to the little spot. But most of the time they're in a basket just like this with the bottom facing down, it doesn't really matter. They look really cute, they look like little white eggs. And when you cut them in half, you get to see the little cream egg that starts to ooze out when you bite into it. And here is the caramel one that I tried. These are also very good. So it makes a really cute little Easter dessert and it's not really all that difficult to make. Check out my Easter playlist for more great recipe ideas like these tie-dye cakes that are baked right inside of a real eggshell. I have some coconut cream eggs and some peanut butter eggs. If you want to see any of these recipes, go ahead and click right on your screen or look for the link in the description box below for my Easter playlist. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.